Android Wear is a completely new operating system that is designed for the next wave of smartwatches. Currently, the Samsung Gear Live and LG G Watch are the only Android Wear devices available, while the Moto 360 is slated to arrive later this year. I am Dan Graziano, and in today's how-to, I am going to show you how to set up and navigate the Android Wear operating system. I'm here with the Gear Live. When you take it out of the box, you will most likely have to charge it. While that's happening, you should go and download the Android Wear app on your smartphone from the Google Play Store. Open the app, accept Google's terms of service, and select your watch. In my case, the Gear Live will be on the list. For you, it could be the G Watch. After you pair the watch, you will be required to grant it access to your notifications. Click Notification Settings and check off the Android Wear box. Your watch is now paired and ready for use. The Android Wear app gives you access to even more options, such as automatically silencing your phone when the watch is connected and even muting app notifications, both of which I went over in an earlier video. The Android Wear operating system is rather straightforward, although some features and settings are buried in odd menus. Notifications appear in the form of Google Now-like cards that can be swiped from left to right to be dismissed or from right to left to view additional information. Swiping from the bottom to the top will show you more cards, while swiping all the way to the top will give you a quick way to mute or unmute the watch. If you're looking to dim the screen, simply cover the display with your hand. A long press on the clock icon will give you the ability to choose a new watch face, while a single press will open the voice menu. From here you can speak commands to access various features, or swipe down to see a list of preset options. At the bottom of the menu is a start option for opening additional features such as the heart rate monitor on the Gear Live. You will find the device settings directly above the start option in the voice menu or on Samsung's watch with a long press of the side button. The first thing I recommend doing is scrolling down to about and checking to see if there's any software updates available. For those of you advanced users, just like on your smartphone, developer options can be enabled on Android Wear by tapping build number 7 times. For more how-tos like this one, be sure to check out howto.cnet.com. You can also reach out to me on Twitter with any questions or comments. I'm Dan Graziano for CNET. Thanks for watching.